It's a woolly bear. He's not moving much at the moment, but he was cruising along. If you bug them, they turn into a ball. Come on, little woolly bear. Shuffle along. <sighs> Critters everywhere. I did happen to get a little bit of slow mo of one of those little guys. So that's kind of cute. There's lots of other little critters all over the place. Squirrels mainly all over the chestnut tree, which you're kind of in competition for because we like them too. Hey buddy! Zeus is here with me. Mid-afternoon. It's a gorgeous day. Really whew, bright. Major cleanup of all cedar trees, maple trees. Uh, we had storm, <laughs> super winds, 50 to 60 kilometers an hour, gusting to 90 or something like that. I don't know what that is in miles, but it's fast. And so it creates a lot of, yeah, it creates a big mess. So, uh, big cleanup today. It was a couple hours of just cleaning. Anyhow, horses are fantastic. Everybody's, here comes Lena. Everybody's good. Hello, Lena. How's it going? Yeah, everybody says you're very kind to come up and say hello to the camera and all the people that are hanging out. I know there's flies. We have our last hurrah. These darn flies. Um, just have to keep spraying down the horses a bit. And there, a little bit of fixed bed head. Hello, Lena. Yeah. Says, get rid of the flies for me. They're everywhere. Yeah, I know. Uh, yes, so a uh, huge um, amount of work blowing everything out. And then uh, got the harrow out for the arena. Thanks, Wendy, for helping me out with that. And uh, just literally, just you want to get rid of, and I've said it a million times, but you really, really. You really want to get rid of all the uh, leaves and material that's going to make mud. Um, not just on pathways and stuff, but you know, with the paddocks. But if you get rid of it here and, and even, you know, see it's a little soft here. And the gator goes over it. But if this can't dry out, it'll turn into muck, mud. And getting rid of the leaves, you know, getting them off the ground allows the sun and the air to get to the, the ground and dried out. This place was a major mess. I mean, these trees have lost all their dead needles. Like all that brown stuff that lives on the cedar trees comes out, lives, it's dead, but it's up there. And it comes down and it just covers this area. I mean, it's just a small... Hello, Roo. What's going on there, big guy? Mr. Friendly Pants. I like his ears because they're so big. Look at how big they are. Watch out, Gracie's coming. Gracie, you tell him. You tell Rue where to go. What do you think? Should we get him? I'll be on your side. Try not to get in the way of the camera too much. I know. She says, Rue, you better watch it. Uh, anyway, so the, the, it, it was just, I mean, there's, Hmm. These two are getting along pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. Uh, there's an agreement, you know. If you bite me, I'll bite you back. Kind of thing. Uh, but they, they, they talk. They talk a lot. But they don't leave each other. You know, if there's trouble, they stay around. Um, nobody's really 
Ah, Rue, I just wanted to... He says, do the shoulders then. I don't want to reach that far. Anyhow, they, uh, yeah. Look at his... They're all getting furry, by the way. But just this smattering of color. There's black, brown, white. He says, I got a fly. Can you take care of that for me, please? All right. This is our life. We just hang out with horses and scratch them and feed them and anyhow. So I'm getting rid of all of that. See, there's another pile that I couldn't because it's a pile of, come on. And then poop that's there. You can't blow that all over the place. I'll rake it up later. Hey buddy. Oh, I think I've got the spot. Yeah, that's the spot. Okay, Rue's owner, you have to come down and scratch your horse because I don't, what? I don't want to. So um, clear out all, all leaves and needles and stuff. Otherwise it'll never dry out and you'll have a muddy place. So we can't have that. Here's Rue Lee. Hello, Rue Lee. You're really cool. <laughs> Like, we've never heard that joke before. Um, same for back here. I mean, let's go take a quick look. But it's it, it all gathers in here. We had a lot of rain. Look at this. Water comes out, trails out of here. But geez, the arena is looking fantastic. Look at that. Pow! Using the indoor arena more now with all the rain. There's Roni. But yeah, all this stuff here. Yeah. This got cleaned. What are you doing, buddy? Look at those muscles. Just anatomically cool. No. What's that? Uh, yeah, so very stormy, huge amount of wind, pile of rain, washes some of the sand down. What are you gonna do? Thought I'd give you guys a quick update, show you guys around for the horses. We have seven, might have another one coming in. We'll see what happens, but other than that, piles of other stuff to do, so it doesn't really concern me. Got all these trees dead down. I can't have a bunch of trees growing in the middle of there, because that's where the water is supposed to get down into and go away. Somebody's been flying around all day. Oh, you won't be able to see all that. But uh, yeah, a lot of, even this right here, this branch here, a lot of branches, little bits and pieces, but no trees. No trees. So that's good. We don't want any trees down. Um, some of you might be new here, but we did have one tree come down last year and it fell right on top of one of the shelters. Horse was fine. And so many airplanes today. And uh, that all good, but uh, it was that one just past Lena there, just behind Lena. And it came down and poof. So very, very thankful. And for all our Canadian viewers, happy Thanksgiving day. A couple of days ago, we had Thanksgiving here in Canada. It's early compared to the States. Um, and yeah, very thankful. Nothing, no, no big problems. Just a big pile of, you know. I think Luke has punched a hole in that bag as I look over at him. See? Hay bags. I had somebody ask, do you give hay bags so they don't get fat? No, no, no. We use hay bags so that they'll... Luke, have you put a hole in your hay bag? It's not cool, man. No. So this is great. What are you talking about? It's perfect. Exactly what I need. Yeah. Okay, sure. Uh, but we keep, we keep hay bags for, look at that. He's like, yeah, no problem. I punched a big, huge three inch hole right there. So we want them to always have food in their, in their tummy. So they don't get uh, ulcers. They don't have stomach problems. They don't colic. 
So they always have, you know, something to nibble on. It stays in their tummy. And, uh, and yeah, they, they essentially will always be moving something through their system. So the hay bags assist in making sure they, their digestive system is always working properly. Uh, it's not ever going to really plug up because it's um, always moving something in it. So we don't really want them to do a Luke's done, so I'll probably have to repair that. Yeah, so that's sort of how that goes. I just want to show you guys one more thing. I was trying to get some pictures. I put them up on a Instagram Facebook page. But look at these little things. I think adorable. I put some put some trees in. I did these dioramas. Uh, this one's Peggy. I don't know if that's going to focus, but uh, this one's Peggy and the other one's obviously Lena. But, uh, it's, but with the stormy weather, we had a chance to sit in the craft room and uh, got some trees done. Aren't they just these cute little poofy trees? So that was fun. More coming on dioramas again soon. What is he doing? Ah, he says it's just about to lie down. Um, yeah, that's about it. That's my update for now. There's lots of stuff going on, but uh, I've got pending things. But I gotta admit, things are gonna get a little bit busier now. So hopefully you guys will join me on that. It's been great having you along. And all the new members, we've got a whole pile of new, new uh, subscribers and a couple new members and stuff. Zeus, what a gorgeous day, don't you think, buddy? He says, this is the best day ever. <laughs> it's time to scratch my back, he says. Shake. Good boy. <laughs> okay, that's about it. Um, yes, thank you, members. Thank you very much. Appreciate everybody who's come on as a, either a YouTube member or a Patreon member. It really helps, and there's lots more coming for that, so... Uh, let me know if there's anything, you know, that comes up in your thoughts of what you'd like to know. Uh, I've got lots of stuff planned, but uh, it always helps to have ideas on what people are wondering about or thinking about that I could maybe assist with. So, anyways, we're going to leave it for now. That's a little horsey check. I know I haven't done one in a while. i got a few requests. Hey, how are the horses? Doing great. Peggy's doing great, by the way. Uh, I'll see her next week and I'll give you guys another update on her. Skip's doing well for everybody who's asked about him. Coming along fantastic. Uh, and, uh, and Allie is as well. So, all good. That's about it. I'll see you guys in the next video, which will hopefully be very, very soon. So, see you then. Still a statue. Zeus, you ready to go? Things to do, buddy. Alright, that's it.